Hi, my name is Jason Chonko. I'm an applications engineer here at Siglent Technologies. Today we're going to do a quick tip on the SDS1202X-E oscilloscope. We're going to show you the link to trigger, and that is going to help you quickly configure the trigger for a serial decoding setup. In this case, I've got an I2C signal from one of our demo boards. Channel 1 is going to a clock uh, for the I2C signal. Channel 2 is the data line. You'll see here we've got channel 1 active, uh, factory defaults. I'm going to turn on channel 2 and get it centered on the display so you can see both of them here. And uh, we'll go to normal trigger and now we've got an edge trigger and we could go and select serial from here and get a stable serial trigger but I'd like to show you a faster way to do that. Press decode, you'll see we've got I2C set up as our protocol. Our signal source clock 1, source data is going to be channel 2, we've got it locked in on that threshold. Now. I'm going to back out on my horizontal time base and you'll see that with the edge trigger it's bouncing around uh, considerably. We don't have a really stable trigger and more data is, uh, because we don't have a stable trigger we're bouncing all over the place. Again we're in the decode menu, I go to channel or page 2 on the decode menu, link to trigger. If I turn that on you'll see that it locks in very nicely and what we're going to do, what that link to trigger does is changes the trigger setup to the serial so it adopts all of the settings that we originally had in our decode menu here and you'll see we're decoding that so it's a faster way to get to uh, configuring your trigger to lock in on your serial signal hope that helps if you need anything please contact your local Siglent office thank you and have a great day